Hi, we're back with another unboxing video, and this is another one from online trader RM Collectibles. It's one of their limited run boxes, and this is a £15 Christmas box. It was produced until 10th of December, so it was very limited quantities, and it's £15 for four mystery items. Cost wise, it's remarkable value for money, 15 quid including postage. So I'm not too sure what's going to be in there, but as with their previous boxes, we know it's going to be fantastic value for money. Um, there was no set theme, so we don't know if it's going to be a mix of Marvel, DC, or anything else. So I'm really excited to see what's going to be in there based on previous boxes. So without wasting more time, we'll take a look. As always, we're going to rate everything that's in the box. If it's any good, we'll score it a hit. If it's not so good, we'll rate it a miss, but I doubt there's going to be any misses in this one. So let's crack open and see what's inside. As always, got the trusty scissors, so let's see what awaits. I am really excited about this one. I mean, I've never been disappointed with the boxes from RM before. So let's see what we've got. And a bit of padding. There's stuff. Oh, this is nice. Um, the Hot Wheels vehicles and the van speed of Star Wars. I've got a couple of the Batman Hot Wheels cars, um, but yeah, this is really nice. Um, look, obviously I'm a huge Star Wars fan anyway, as you've seen in some of my other Star Wars unboxing videos. But yeah, off to a great start. Um, yeah, love it. So that's a definite hit. Um, another little item, very well packaged. Um, I'm going to need the scissors again for this one. Well, lots of bubble wrap on this. I mean, they certainly didn't want this to get damaged in transit. This is kind of the amount of packaging I used to use when I was sending parcels. <laughs> I'm not going to get into this in a hurry. It feels quite weighty. Oh, this is really nice. Um, I mean, again, I'm a Star Trek fan. Um, little, little pocket watch, a keychain. see there and close up with the um, Starfleet insignia that's a really nice item there and um, got long chains that could be worn um, on the back's a uh, floral pattern but yeah I really like that I mean I don't normally I mean I haven't worn watches for well over a decade, um, if not longer. I mean, I tend to just use my phone for the time. But this is a really nice little uh, pocket watch there. So, yeah, that's going to be another hit. Two really nice items so far. And it's a mix of franchises as well. Mm. Lots of bubble wrap here, so it's a pop figure. Um, again, scissors to save time getting this one out. Not disappointed at all so far. And as I said, I wasn't expecting to be absolutely tons of tape on this. Um, next man pop figure, uh, Bishop. Um, pop figures can't go wrong. Um, X Men, yep, great figure. Um, um, really nice detailing as always, um, but yeah, another great figure there. Um, I don't normally collect the Marvel pop figures apart from Spider-Man, but you can't go wrong with that anyway for a nice little item there. So yeah, another great one, so another hit. It's a really nice variety box as well. I mean, so far, you know, Star Trek, Star Wars, um, and one last one. Um, Back to Star Trek again this time, which again for me is going to be a win. I'm going to take this one out of the pack and um, so it can be seen properly. 
um, look, keyring here, and the Star Trek Command insignia, which end up being adopted for. Uh, and there's quite a, quite a weighty sort of metal keyring there, and the Star Trek on the back. But yeah, I really like that. Um, I mean, I've got pin badges, keyrings, and everything all over the place, but. I've got absolutely tons of Star Trek stuff all around in the cave anyway. And I mean, behind me there, I don't think you can see on the shelf there, that, tons of Star Trek graphic novels, comics all over the place, um, figures. But, yep, a really nice clearing. Um, and then another one to add to the collection. But yeah, overall, um, so another hit. So four for four, exactly what I kind of expect in terms of quality. Cannot fault that box one bit. Um, Iron Collectibles don't have a website, but you can find them on Instagram and there'll be a link to their Instagram page in the description, but £15 inclusive of postage, fantastic value for money, exactly as I expected. Great items, all going to find a nice home in the collection, and um, yeah, you cannot go wrong. I mean, I would advise you all pop over to their Instagram page, follow them, keep an eye out because they're constantly posting details of new boxes, um, whether it's a... Marvel, DC, um, random boxes, they do comic bundles as well. But yeah, this is absolutely fantastic. Nothing less than I expected. Um, great value for money and a fabulous box. Um, but I'd love to know what you think in the comments and um, if you've got a particularly favourite item uh, out of all of this lot um, and whether you've bought any boxes from them in the past and what you think and what you've received. Um, but yeah, absolutely love it. Um, great value for money and can't go wrong. Um, anyway, um, thanks for, yeah, as I said, yeah, I'd love to let, let what you think, let me know. Um, uh, anyway, drop us a like, and if you're not already doing so, please take the time to subscribe and click the bell for notifications of all our upcoming videos. And um, that's it for now, so thanks for watching, and we'll see you all again soon. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click on the like button and leave us a comment below. Also, spare a moment to share this video on Twitter, Facebook and all your social media pages. To get updates on all of our latest videos delivered straight to your inbox, subscribe now using the link on the screen.